what is up my youtube family i'm back again with another one your boy deuces is back you know, i went out on a live stream today and i was i wanted to ask some questions um this guy doesn't really strike me as a guy to that i would personally get along with but it is a hot trending topic he is top trending of all social medias basically and he has been for quite some time he is actually a professional kickboxer um he is a multi-millionaire um he is an entrepreneur i think his net worth's about 250 mil um anyways guys andrew tate is his name and he just strikes me way wrong he strikes me way different than what a person should he thinks that if a woman gets on a learjet or owns a learjet and he owns a learjet when he gets on her learjet that it is his Learjet, even though it's her, she bought it because of who he is. This is the guy that thinks that he owns women's rights as a male. He talks about fat people, overweight people, and he continues on trending topics. Now, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that this is uh he makes some of this stuff up for good uh publicity. But if you watch his videos, Andrew Tate is his name. If you watch his videos, it's, it's kind of crazy the way the guy goes about his scenarios of his mind working, I guess I'd say. I went out today and I, I did a live stream um, at a Target in my, in my state. And I actually asked people if it's okay to have more than one sexual partner. Because... Andrew Tate thinks that it's okay. He said that you could have more than one sexual partner, but the woman can't, but he can. So that was kind of a controversial topic. I actually went and and live myself, took myself out there and asked questions. That's actually on my channel. Um, also, he thinks that he lives back in the Roman days because he's a kickboxer. And you'll see in the video that a woman was really confused about what I was talking about. You know, so he he's a very, very per type of person that says whatever he wants to say, but it's all, I think some of it is for publicity. This is a guy who bought a $2 million car. Okay. He owns 25 cars and he has, he bought three, instead of buying, building a garage, this guy went and bought three different houses down his neighbor's, down his, uh, where he lives at and parks them at houses he don't even live in. That's how rich this guy is. 250 mil is what his net's worth as of 2022. Again, his name is Andrew Tate. Anyways, guys, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe to the channel. It is highly appreciated. Guys, let's get to 500 subscribers. Anyways, I am going to actually roll a clip of him just to show you kind of about who the guy is. But I'm actually going to continue with my live streams. So check out the live streams every other day. I'm actually going to post the live stream, but I'm going to post regular videos in between. But I'm actually enjoying the live stream type I'm going out and actually asking people questions. So uh, they're just going to get better and better. My videos are going to get better. Anyways, guys, let's see what Andrew Tate has to say about himself. Like I said, it's very contra He's a very controversial person. He really don't care what he says. So let's see what he says. The point is the food isn't worth it. And it's not worth 25 Gs, but the whole fun of it is just thinking back to when you never had 25 grand in your life. I never had any money in my savings account. I was completely flat broke. So it's the juxtaposition that makes it interesting. There's no light without dark. So I love the fact that I was poor. Those are some of the, in some ways, they were some of the happiest times of my life. Life was simpler back when I was poor. I'm not gonna buy into more money, more problems. I'm not gonna say that being rich isn't fantastic because it certainly is. However, when you're broke, you have a very simple singular focus, which is what it should be just to make more money. But now my focus is more spread out because I really, I really do not need to make more money. That's the one thing I do not need more of. But there's so much more to this story, so I'm not gonna let that go. So there was hardship, right? And of your course. dad wasn't always around. There was a story with like the hair, he Correct. gave you a, the whole haircut and Correct. he told you hair doesn't matter. Correct. And all this like really formed you. So his dad was a chess master. He played chess. And he's actually a chess master as well. 
talking about Andrew Tate, the guy sitting here. He's actually a chess master as well. His dad taught him how to play chess. At the age of 15, I do believe, he won his first chess master. Uh, so he's good at chess too. So he did that before he became a kickboxer. At, at the age of 15, he won his first, I do believe, title belt as well um, in an MMA fight. He is a four-time world champion in kickboxing. This guy is not a chump for sure. But the way he t t goes and he talks about women is totally male chauvinist, in my opinion. Everybody has a right to their own opinion, and this guy is the type of male chauvinist. And if you watch my video that I go out and I ask people, people doesn't even know who this guy is. And he's a top tr trending topic. I think I found one person that knew who the guy was, but I, I still ask the questions. I, I asked three different questions about the Learjet, about sexual partners, and about him being a kickboxer, whether he says, this guy also thinks that if you are not a Roman a warrior, that a woman can't love you. You can't protect your woman. In this interview, in the beginning, he tells this girl, well, you're with me, so you're protected. How are you going to protect her if someone runs up on you in a gun? Kickbox is not going to help a gun. It's just not. That's just common sense. So now you got this guy sitting here with this woman. You could tell that he likes her. They actually had a interview together about two years ago, three years ago, and they was talking about that stuff as well. Um, it was another interview. He actually had his house raw or uh, invaded, or invaded by the FBI. His computer's taken everything else was how much money he was making um he owned a web webcam business as well so this guy is not no chump when it comes to money he's an entrepreneur again i said his i said his network was about worth 250 mil so anyways guys let's see what else he has to say yeah i want to hear about it i want to hear about the hardship okay well the hardship my whole life was hardship and and to some degree i try and make sure my life retains some degree of hardship. Mm. Uh, my, my father was the OG. I was raised by probably the best father on earth. I really genuinely but believe But he wasn't that. around? It, it, but a father doesn't have to be around. This is the big mistake. This is another big mistake, especially among the conservatives and the trad cons and all this crap. The idea that a father needs to sit around like a second mother to make a child healthy is, is a fallacy. In fact, I'd say it's detrimental to the child. I see all these dudes out here, they have a kid and they basically become mother number two. Why? The mother keeps the child alive. As a father, it's your job to be impactful. You need to guide, you need to be a role model. You need to be a superhuman. Everyone should look at their father like a superhero. That's mm -hmm. what you should genuinely view him as. So but my question of that is, is if he had, if he, he pictures him, evidently this guy pictures himself as a superhero because he's a kickboxer. So my thing is, if this guy wasn't a kickboxer, would he still be who he was today? Would he still be an entrepreneur? That's my question. Because he was a kickboxer before he was anything else. So ta let's take that kickboxing scholar, or kickboxing, whatever it is, and push that to the side. What does it make this dude without kickboxing? That's what I'm wondering at this point. Yes, he owns his own webcam business, but that become that came after he was a kickboxer. And then he bought into other businesses that came after he was a kickboxer. So his matches was winning him about seventy thousand dollars or seventy thousand a match. They said, um, you know, so he when he moved up in title weights, he gained four world champions. So he is a four time world champion. He's not no chump, like I said before. Again, his name is Andrew Tate. So, anyways, guys, let's continue to see what this guy's has, Andrew Tate has to say. It's hard to be a superhero if you're home every day arguing with your wife changing diapers. That's not what a man should do. A man should rock up teach lessons, be impactful, and it's more about quality as opposed to quantity of time. I saw my dad once a month. He was out on the streets, he was pimping, hustling. My father was a chess grandmaster. He's traveling the world playing chess. He had all his girls, he's doing whatever he's doing. When he came home, it was an impactful time, whether it was a positive impact or it was a big argument or whatever. Never was I ever around my father. It was a low energy environment. That's not who he was as an individual. And I remember every single second spent with him. There's a whole bunch of dudes out here and chicks their father's home all the time, fine. But if you're home all the time, you're gonna lose to a degree your mystery. It doesn't matter how cool you are as an individual, if you're home all the time, always, you're not gonna have that magical power as opposed to, whoa, dad's home. 
I'm telling you, the biggest mistake fathers make is that they let the woman convince them that to be a good dad, they need to be there all the time. That is a complete lie. Fathers never did this. We were always at war or down the coal mines or away working. This is the way it's always been for, the, for humanity. And you can kind of tell this guy has a way about ways of talking um, towards a woman to think that he's better than what he is. Again, this video is just to kind of show you guys who Andrew Tate is. A lot of people, I guess, does not know who he is because I wanted to show you guys a video of him to let you guys get an insight of who I was whenever I went and asked the questions. Um, that I he said was okay in his life, which was more have more than one sexual partner that he could have as much as he wanted, but his wife or his girlfriend could not. He said it was okay to have 19 different wives. He had six at one time, and he also said it was uh, he owned the Lear jet that he got on, even though if it was a woman that made more money than his than he did, he still owned it when he got on it. So that's a lot of controversy. This is the same guy again, guys, who, like I said, who talks about women, um, about them not having the power as a guy has. Um, go check out a lot of his videos. They are totally controversy. I'm actually gonna cover this quite a bit. So if you guys like it, guys, just let me know. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna jump off of here. Again, go check out my channel. I've got a live stream of him, me asking people questions about sexual relationships and stuff. Anyways, guys, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like and subscribe to the channel. It's highly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, your boy Deuce is out. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Love you, guys.